Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, if you find this video useful and helpful and want to support my channel, please go into the video description below and it will show you how you can help me carry on with my channel. Now, this video is an HTX video. Now, what's an interesting thing we can do with our HTX radio and with an OpenTX one is to have data logging. So we can uh, pick uh, certain telemetries that we want and it will log it. So one really useful thing for this, and I have used this in the past, was when I was flying my drone and it went down and I didn't have the DVR on my goggles recording, so I didn't know where it was. But because I did data logging and it had a, the drone had a GPS on it, I had the GPS coordinates. And so I ended up finding the drone quite easily. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have a look at the settings on both the Radio Master TX16S and the Zura radio. And then we'll take a look at the actual logs that it produces and you can see the information that you get from it. Now let's take a look at setting up data logging on the TX16S. So we're going to tap here. There we go. We're going to go to our model settings. And then we're going to scroll along until we get to data logging. And there you can see we've set up switch SF in the four position. So that's when it's armed. So it'll only data log when it's armed. Then you go, let's go into edit. And so you're going to select the function is going to be SD logs. And you could actually put this onto an independent switch, but to me, so you don't forget it if you wanted to use it for finding your drone, uh, if you had a problem, so it logged your GPS. I've, I've fixed, I set it up to the arm switch. And you can see I've set a, a value up of two seconds. So every two seconds it will take the data. So you could change that to how, however you want to do that. So it is as simple as that to set up. Special functions, pick a switch. I would suggest the arm switch and then set, uh, select the function SD logs and then the um, amount of time you want it, every uh, the period you want it to take uh, the logs. So if we come out of here, now what I want to show you on the TX16S, as soon as I arm, if you watch up in the screen here, there, you've got that spot blinking there. That means it's data logging which is quite nice, so you can see that it's doing it if we turn that off. Now, to go and view the logs in here, we're going to go to the system, and we're going to go along to our SD card. We're going to scroll down until we find logs. We are going to enter, and there they are. There's the logs. So you can see all the logs there. Um, and we can view the text even in here. So that's quite, I mean, it looks a bit, it's a bit difficult to read. So what I would suggest is you actually, you do um, connect your radio to your computer and you, you, you download the logs and you can go and look at them. Well, that's everything on the TX16S. So let's turn this one off. Okay. And then bring over the Zuro. And let's just change my camera slightly there there we go let's turn this one on welcome to htx acro mode okay so we're going to go into our model and we're going to go across until we get to our special functions i'm going to scroll down and you can see we've got the same switch se in the forward position which is my arm t um, my arm switch then you can see I've, I've select the function is at S SD logs and I've set a time up for uh, 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 interval. So I never record the data every two seconds. So if we come out of here, the only difference is when you log here, when we arm, arm. you'll see there's no indicator on the front that I can see on the Zuro that shows you it's actually logging. Uh, but uh, you, we, we can't see any visual marker to show us that it's actually doing it. So I'm going to disarm. So again, we will go into the system menu. We're going to go across. We're going to go down to our logs. Push enter. And there's the logs. You can see the logs that it's it's made. But we can't read it in the Zero. We can only copy it, rename it or delete it. So you can't actually look at the log in on your Zoro radio. There, there we go. Now, before we move on to actually having a look at the log, I want to show you something in the model settings. We're going to go back. We're going to go to our telemetry window. 
So to get our telemetry to come up, you may have seen this in, in some of my other videos, but we need to go down and say discover new and you'll see the sensors come up. Now we can click stop and with some receivers uh, you will get a lot of different sensors, but we've got four on this particular RX XR receiver. So, but what I want to show you is if we edit the sensor and we move down to the bottom, we can actually turn it off. So at the moment, if we set up logging, that sensor would be logged. But if we wanted to turn it off, we can just uncheck that box and it will no longer appear on our logs. Now let's take a look at the logs. So I'm going to get my Zora radio. I did a flight earlier this morning so that I could have a, a log on the radio. We're going to plug our radio in and then we're going to select um, storage. And now we can put our radio down. Now what we need to do, we plug our radio in. We're going to go into the folders and we're going to look at our USB drive on our radio and we're going to go into logs. And there you can see I've got two logs sitting there. Let's go to this first one. If I double click that and you'll see it'll open up. It's a CSV file and you can see the data there. So we've got the time, we've got the, the date, we've got the time, uh, which no, it definitely wasn't filmed at that time. So I didn't set the time up properly. And you can see the RSS, uh, RSSI and the VBAT and you've got the position of the sticks on the radio and the position of your uh, switches and your VBAT there. So that gives you some idea of the information you can get back. Now the uh, uh, drone that I was using for this doesn't have a GPS, so there's no GPS coordinates. But if you did have GPS coordinates on there, you would be able to uh, find out where your drone went down if you had a problem with it. Well, I hope you found that video useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. And if you have any suggestions for HTX videos that I can help you out with, please leave that in the description below and I will try to assist you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.